I mean, I didn't know she wasn't pregnant. It, it was an honest mistake. I see. Has anything traumatic happened recently? I accidentally listened to a Daft Punk song the other day. That's horrible. How did that make you feel? Angry, confused, understandable. That's quite troubling. I want to ask you about our last session. All right. You said that you like drawing balls. Is that correct? Yeah, of course. And, and why is that? Well, they're funny. But why are they funny? I mean, they're dangling and jiggly, isn't that enough? They're also hairy and wrinkly. That's true. Is there something wrong with me? No, that's completely normal. I mean, I draw balls all the time. On my children's artwork, on official court documents. I'm actually drawing a giant sweaty pair of balls right now. It's important. It's what tethers us to reality in these hard times. Yeah, I guess. Sometimes I feel like it's just not enough, though. That's not uncommon at all. Have you considered doing the intro? Yeah, I've thought about it. And, and, and what would you say? I don't know, probably something like, hey guys, I'm Kerry West and welcome back to my photography channel. We got a POV today. I borrowed my friend's 100 to 400. That's a micro four thirds lens, which if you know math about stuff, that would equate to a 200 to 800 full frame equivalent. So it was insanely long. It was definitely out of my comfort zone and it was a very strange but awesome shooting experience. You know, something like that. It's very good. And, and how did that make you feel? Good, actually. Should we roll the video? Yeah, I think so. Don't forget to keep an eye open for the pug hidden in this video because if you're the first person to correctly post the timestamp where it's at, I'll send you one of my old socks that have a hole in them that I still haven't thrown away for some reason. I hope you enjoy. All right, here we go. This shit was pretty bananas. This lens is even longer than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, I knew how long it was, but this is just insane. To really hammer it home, there were times when I was editing this video that I honestly could not find where I took the photos because the subjects in the wide angle GoPro were just so far away that they're like a few pixels wide. So it's pretty crazy. I was actually able to really fill the frame with people that were like all the way down the road. Shooting this video was super difficult for me. I think when people start in street photography, they often go with longer focal lengths because it's kind of awkward to get up close to people. But once you get used to it, you, you tend to go a little bit wider and you, you find yourself kind of forming compositions from within them. And to go back and shoot a lens that was longer than anything I've ever put on my camera before was incredibly tricky. Here's a good example of what I was talking about. You can't even see the subject here. But what I thought was interesting about this one was that this yellow bag of sunflower seeds or whatever was catching the light and it was actually making his whole face glow. The composition wasn't very strong, but I do really like that aspect of it. This photo is exceptionally uninteresting. Probably should have shot a little bit wider on this one, but I do really like the mysterious silhouette in it and then this nice triangular shadow shape. A lot of these shots of people crossing the street from really far away, it's a bit uh, cliche, but I do really like how big the mountains appear because of the compression of this insanely long focal length. See that tiny block of moving pixels? Yep, that was my subject. This 
Lens was a really fun experience, but to be honest, I'm not sure it's something I would ever actually buy, especially for Micro Four Thirds. Uh, I ended up shooting it wide open the whole time, and if you know stuff, you'll know that lenses pretty much never perform at their best when they're fully wide open, and fully zoomed in, this thing is like an f6.5 at 400 millimeters, and that's, you're just losing so much light that you can really only use it during the day unless you want super noisy photos, which is also another downside to Micro Four Thirds. That being said though, if you're okay with a little bit of noise, or if you can control your light source, and if you're okay with a little bit of loss of sharpness when you're fully wide open, this lens is still a really good choice for probably a lot of people, especially if you're hiking a lot and stuff like that. The sheer amount of zoom you get from this thing for its size and weight is pretty mind-blowing. This one right here is definitely one of my favorites of the day. I love the compression I got zooming in this far, the, the really nice shape of light behind her, and she's looking directly at it, which is a huge bonus for me, even though her face isn't in the shot. And with Micro Four Thirds, we still had enough depth of field for the background to be somewhat in focus, so you could at least tell what it was. And here we are, fully zoomed in from all the way across the street, and his head takes up almost the entire frame. It's pretty crazy. This next one here is definitely another one of my favorites. I love the light hitting both of them and the nice layering to it. Plus, he's just out of focus enough in my opinion. Nothing too special about this one. Obviously, I love the way that the water looks, but I also just love all the different tones of blue in this image and then that nice bright pop of red in the background. It's another classic case of accidentally shooting the same two people more than once to where they probably thought it was a serial killer or something, but hey, it's not my fault if they keep walking through dope-ass lighting, bruh. I'll forgive you for posting this as the timestamp for the hidden pug, but I'm still going to hide a pug in this video, so you must find the actual hidden pug. This little guy was scared of my camera, I think. He was such a little wiggly turd. I thought this one compositionally was pretty solid. I love the dark blue tones and the nice bright highlights in the back, plus the solid black silhouette. I do kind of wish he had a different stance in this photo, though. I do like this one, but it's still not great. I, I just think it's kind of interesting how many just pretty bad photos I took, but how much fun I still had just because it was such a new experience for me shooting this long. This is probably the worst of the down the street shots I got. There's just way too many elements and they're all just kind of disjointed. This one I liked a lot more. It was much cleaner and much more simple, and that nice strip of light hitting the bright red bus was just a big bonus. I didn't realize it until looking through this video how much better of a shot it would have been if I actually included that old man, but I think I might have been a little bit to telephoto for that. I just don't think this lens would have been wide enough to include that old man walking through that strip of light and this cool building with the with the shapes on it from the morning sun. I kind of like this one. I like how big the subject is in the frame and then the nice yellow and black contrast throughout. This is why this lens was so fun to play with. This guy was inside across the street and I was able to zoom in so far that I was able to make that poster behind him almost look like the actual environment that he was in.
This is the last photo, and I also think this is one of my favorites. Even though I cut off his feet at the shin level and he's a little bit out of focus, um, I love the light coming in and how giant the church is because of that, again, that compression of this lens. I actually pushed the color palette a little bit on this one to make it just a bit of a different feel. And I almost died right there, so what a good way to send the video off. Hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you watching if you made it this far. And uh, I really appreciate you sitting through my therapy session. And I, you know, I got a lot of stuff I'm trying to work through uh, with myself, literally. But if you enjoyed it, let me know. Make sure you uh, finger bang the like button and uh, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.